there at Sinai, Hail. What you want to do is you want to go up there. Of course, it's not going to respond, right? Because they're dead. <laughs> you just want to make sure that they're not. In case you've seen some color problems late at night, they're not good at the Okay? They, they don't make your job like slap in the face to wake them up. Uh, move on to the next step. Which, which is the next step? Why not? Well, you're basically, this is this is like acting as a sermon. Now you can, if they're not responding, you can pinch your nipples, whatever. You do what you can. They're not responsive. That's what you want to establish. So they're not responsive. That also means implied consent, right? That means I need help. Okay? Well, the people are lying on their back, it's called a supine position. When they're lying on their back, is that how we're going to use the final? No. How are they going to be? They're going to be, they're going to be in the trailer, in the bathroom. Okay, between the, between the toilet and the tub. That, that's how they're going to be. So what do you have to do? Get them out. Get them into an area where you can work on So, you know, use your legs. Just them up. Drag them through the room. And then the guys go, oh my god, I will move. All right? You get them into a the room and put them on the floor. We're all in a supine position. Okay? What if they fell? Yeah, sure. Sure. You're going to go their neck, right? See spine. See spine. So you can still do, do all that. Do it quickly, though. It's going to get no pulse. Who cares about the paralysis, right? All right. Well, I see. Provide that cervical support better than <laughs> you can. Get them out of the position that they're in. Get them supplying, then you can have somebody hold that hold that in. Get them more stable, get the seat collar on as necessary. So once you establish they're not responsive, what you want to do is open the airway. Okay? If they don't have a uh, your neck is not suspected to be broken. The typical way to do it is do a head tilt, chin tilt, chin tilt. Okay? Take your left hand, go the forehead, your two fingers here, lift up. What does that do? Maybe Kim should have. We should ask Kim. Does he use a CPAP? Right? It's basically what the CPAP is doing. We're just doing it by positive pressure modulation. Okay? So it's been providing pressure. All we're doing here is, more than anything, displacing the tongue. Because more like this, her tongue goes to the back of the throat and it feeds a oral, oral cap. They had some man it's bit his snore. They had some man bit his tongue off the other night. They say, look. Heard that in the car. Wow. It happens. So that's what you're doing when you're opening the airways. You're moving the shifting the uh, the trachea into position so you're getting air to move down. Now, can you hold this indefinitely? You can, but it's pain in the butt, right? So we'll, we'll go into these little devices, so you won't have to do all of that, all right? These are called OPAs. Everybody see that? Okay. They're also known as J-tubes. Can't imagine one. Looks like a J. The fancy word for them is, you might pronounce it? Pharyngeal airway. There you go. So you can put that on at a later point. Right now, all you're doing is establishing whether or not they're breathing or not breathing. Look down the chest. You want to see if that chest is rising. Okay. Now at this point, I hope your buddies are coming here to help you. They've got the go to out. Now do you have to have go to up there? Now it's a freaking air. We're going to get over to You're not going to get ventilation in the future anyway. Well, let's say the oxygen hasn't arrived there. You're just, you've got to show up in your own truck. Or let's say you saw this happen at Walmart. What? And you have, there's an A and B there. And typically, they won't have this. You know, they'll have this. Some version of this. There's a whole bunch of other different products out there. And how this works, see that? 
You just open up that case. See the shape? Or right, calm down. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the shape. What is this? This is the apex of the nose, right? Alright, and this opens up and gets broader. Believe it or not, this is the most the biggest mistake. People who learn CPR have problems with. I've seen nurses, doctors who can who cannot do good face seal on somebody. Now I'm gonna show you how to properly get a face seal on everybody you get. Here's what people do most of the time when they get one of these things. So that one on the face, right? Now I've seen them upside down. This is not right. Okay? The little pointy end goes to the nose. Just like that. Here's what people do. That's not right. right? The best way to do is it's called EC. Do I see that? These are the three fingers here that form the E. This is your C. E, C, E, C, E, C. Okay. So, you want to get to the head of the patient, apply it just like this. You want to take it through your E, right on the jaw, you call that mandible. Okay. Take your two finger here to form the C, you want to press down right on top of the mask, just like that. Take your E, open the airway, just like that. Everybody see that? E, C. And then you want to, you want to breathe. So you want to breathe how many times? Two. Two. Nice deep pull. You want to see the chest rise. Now, let's say you've got something more sophisticated like can't move that. Here for What we want to do, anybody, everybody's familiar with how this operates? I know some of you. Where are my keys over there? All right. You need one of these, unfortunately. Now, I've talked to Robert. Apparently, these come from AMR, right? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Well, the bottles. Yeah. O2 bottles. Uh, a lot of them have a built-in screw top. Oh, 